Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this video, I am going to show you a super easy way to configure Azure AD authentication to ASP.NET Core MVC application. You might have seen one of my videos where I have demonstrated Azure AD authentication for ASP.NET Core MVC. In that video, I have written all the code and did all the configurations manually. But here we are going to use Visual Studio capabilities to configure Azure AD authentication to ASP.NET Core MVC application. It is super easy. You need not remember anything. You just have to see this video completely. Let us get started. Here I am creating ASP.NET Core MVC web app. Clicking on next and I am giving the name as Azure Teach Azure AD web app application i'm clicking on next and here we have to do the configuration related to azure ad so here the authentication type is selected as non by default we have to choose microsoft identity platform and click on create here it shows this pop-up you have to click on finish if we have to configure the Azure AD to our MVC application, we have to do changes inside the startup.cs class and also we have to add required dependencies, modify app settings.json and add Azure AD related settings. But here, if you add the Azure AD using the Visual Studio, by default, it generates this code. In my previous video, we have written all this code on our own but here we have used visual studio to generate this code and now we have to configure the app registration related details inside our application so if we go to the app settings.json over here so here we have the azure ready settings and here it has some kind of dummy values we have to replace these values with actual tenant id and client id and also the domain if you are configuring azure ad to an existing application what you can do is you can go over here and choose this connected services so here inside the connected services i'm clicking on configure here the visual studio will display all the app registrations which are there inside your azure account so if you see here i have logged in with one of the users who are there inside my azure ad so based on this login it will load all the app registrations if you don't know the app registration app registration is a kind of identification to your application we can create the app registration from Azure portal also like if you go to the Azure portal and go to the Azure Active Directory and go to app registrations. Here you can create a new app registration but in this demo we are going to create the app registration using Visual Studio. Here I am clicking on this plus button so I am choosing default directory so here I am giving the name as azure teach azure ad web application and clicking on create it takes some time to create the azure app registration but if you see it created the app registration and here is our app registration details i'm clicking on next if you want to add Microsoft Graph permissions, you can choose this checkbox. And if you want to add permissions related to any other API, like your organization might be having an API and you want to add permissions related to that API to this application, you can choose this checkbox. And Microsoft Graph permissions are used to get the user details like the user calendar, email or any detail related to the user. In my channel, there are already three videos which shows different ways to use Microsoft Graph API permissions to ASP.NET application. I'm clicking on next over here. And here it has to install all these packages and also add the settings to the app settings.json. So here I'm clicking on finish. It have done all the configurations related to the azure ad i'm clicking on close so if we go to 
the app settings.json here if you see it added all these details and it added the domain as my azure account related domain and also it added tenant id client id and other details as well now if you go to the azure portal active directory and app registrations and if you go to the all applications the app registration that we have created is visible over here i am seeing the app registration inside the all applications because here i have logged in with my admin account but i have created this app registration with a different user so if you use the same user the same app registration will be available inside all applications and also owned applications now i am going inside the app registration that we have created and if we go to the authentication part here it has added all the redirect urls over here so if you have to configure these details manually you have to go to the properties launch settings.json and here we have to pick this port but as we have used visual studio capabilities it added all the details automatically now i'm running this application if you see here it redirected to azure login page so i am logging in over here i have pasted the username clicking on next and here i am entering the password and here i am skipping for now and as we are accessing this application for the first time it is asking for the consent i am clicking on accept over here and if you see the application is loaded and here it is showing the logged in username and also the sign out button is available over here now i am clicking on sign out button and now here i am choosing the user account so it did the sign out now let me explain the generated code here i am inside the startup.cs class configure services method here the visual studio added this code so it added the authentication middleware to the application and mentioned the authentication scheme as open id connect and after that it added microsoft identity platform and it added identity details inside the app settings.json with the name azure ad and it reading the same over here after that it added this code and if you see here here it has added a policy using authorization policy builder and here it is stating that this application needs an authentication user and it is using this policy and added that as an authorization filter over here and this code is required as our application is getting redirected to the microsoft login page and after that here if you go down it added this use authentication and authorization how this entire setup is working to understand that we have to run this application once again so i am running the application and if you see here first it loads our local host web address and after that it redirects to login.microsoftonline.com and how this is happening if you go to the app settings.json here we have login.microsoftonline.com and here we have the tenant id as db26a61d and something and if you go to the web page here we have the tenant id and after that here it has the authorization scheme and after that here it has the client id and this client id we have configured inside our visual studio over here and now if we go to the browser again here it has the redirect uri so if you go to the redirect uri it has this uri so it is local host and here we have 44356 port number so if you go to our app registration and authentication part here we have that redirect uri to conclude this our application uses these details to redirect to the azure login page 
and Azure uses the tenant ID and client ID and validates these details against the Active Directory related to the user. And after that, it will redirect back to the URL that is configured over here with the token. And after receiving the token, the code that is generated over here will take care of the token and validates the token and show you the landing page of your application. If you feel this video is helpful to you, please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net for more videos on Azure and .NET. Thank you.